All right, y'all, time to get some lunchtime sculpting in. So here we go. The table was cleaned off last night, but it wasn't dried well. I like it to look a little shinier. So I'm just wiping it again. Being silly. Wasting time that I don't have because I've only got like a half hour. Let's see what I can do. All right, this is where we left off. I have a paddle tool around here somewhere, and I don't know where the hell the thing is. And I don't normally need it, but now I do. Do you hear me sounding far away? Oh, it's because I rolled off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. So this is my paddle tool. All right. I just needed a little more symmetry on on this left side. The clay is still very soft. You can see how much the rim is shaking. And that's basically all I needed. A little more symmetry. It's probably just because my hand positioning wasn't good and I was pushing down and not knowing it. So now I'm patting in and up a little bit to get that shape back under control. I think that's good enough. Take out a little bit of clay and try to roll some coils. Man, I left this out overnight and didn't realize it. So that's got to go into its own bag and be sprayed down very thoroughly so it can sit and get pliable again. Because it needs to basically be sitting in a little pool of its own water at this point. That's what I created. You can see the water there, water level. I may have, might have put too much water in, and that's fine. If I did, it'll just become slick. I think I want to try to put... I'm going to start a lid for this. I have a bit, bit of an idea of what I'm going to do for this piece. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to get my birthday gift. I'm going to walk over here and get my caliper. I've been putting everything that I received for a birthday gift in a big box. All right. One time for the birthday. Two times for the birthday. There you go. All right, so... That is what I need to be aiming for. Missing a tool that I'm positive is right in front of my face. And somehow I'm doing that thing I do where I just overlook the obvious. I don't know why or how I managed to do it. I do it with precision. And it was obvious and it was sticking up pretty much higher than any other tool, so that's weird.
All right, I got to step away once more because I need to get another turntable. Another one of my birthday gifts. Okay, where's it? Oh. All right, we called it at 31 minutes. I'm actually, I better go ahead and miss this so that it's still a good consistency when I come in. All right, I'm back. So initially, this part, which I'm lifting off, was going to be a lid. But when I saw the shape of it after putting it here, I feel like I want that to be part of the shape. So I'm going to um, all right, catch on the flip side, slip please. and score it. I'm going to score it and add some slip, got that backwards, and join these two pieces. I'm holding it up under this rim because I don't want it to drop down lower and this pressing action can definitely make that happen.
I'm okay with it caving a little inward. I'm not cool with the lower body dropping down any further at all. And the reason why I'm cool with it caving inward is because I'm probably going to end up sculpting that in a little bit more, this area around here, so it'll be even more slender. But I don't want this body to drop. All right, let's go around the rim because this top part I'm getting ready to pull down. All right, and now it's time to get in on that inside. And I'm gonna be pulling down and up from the bottom, bracing my fingers against the outside, and then going across. So I'm basically sort of cross hatching in this area. All right, that's looking pretty good. We're gonna call it at 30 minutes and 47 seconds. Let's just call it 30 minutes, 31 minutes, all right? And I'm just going to let this um, air dry out a little bit so that it can be 
start getting leather hard because um, there's a lot of sculpting and smoothing to be done and reshaping and I don't need it to be as soft as it is right now. So we're going to let the air take care of that. Okay, now I'm done, for real, please.